Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. We are going to do a Dollar Tree haul. I'm going to turn my AC up because it's actually kind of blazing hot today. I've been running around doing all kinds of errands and I'm just going to share with you guys some of these items because I am going to be doing a drop off to the shelter. I have a lot of stuff that I've picked up lately, um, like books and I'm sure you guys saw my thumbnail. I've been collecting those colors of the world, coloring books and crayons. I just love those. I think they make an awesome donation. And um, I've been dumpster diving. So I have like two pre-recorded videos, but a lot of the items that I picked up, I actually found a place that will take those donations, which is super exciting. So um, yeah, let me get into this and show you guys what I've bought at my Dollar Tree lately. But many of the items in this haul are items that I'm going to be donating so I just need to haul them before I send them on their merry way. I bought tons and tons of these. I found them now like in three stores and I bought them all to be honest because people had already picked through them. There was like almost hardly any left but I do have a really good amount now for donation of the Colors of the World crayons in a 24 pack. Those are the colors that they come in. I think that that is a really cool concept. I just love them. It's not new. They have had them for a couple years now, but I've never been able to score a bunch of them. And I was really excited when I saw them. There are the colors right there. Just really fun to have those kinds of colors in your crayon arsenal. Plus the actual coloring book is just so all inclusive. I love, I love the cover. I love the pictures on the inside. Look, this says like, wonder what it's like driving a car, draw a picture of yourself driving. And then the very first page is a bunch of kids riding a camel. I don't know if you guys can see that really clearly, but I just love it. The back page has all types of children wearing all types of different outfits. Just so all inclusive. It's a lovely, I mean, it's not a super fat coloring book, but it's definitely got a super fat message and I love that. So I love donating it and it is Crayola. It's a brand name. They're all brand name and maybe, maybe you could get a better deal somewhere else, but I've never seen these anywhere but the Dollar Tree and I feel like you can't get them anywhere for less. So I was really happy to score those. Next, I picked this book up. I don't know. I just thought it was funny. <laughs> I really was amused at the whole idea of it. It was originally $14.95. I might even possibly give it to my husband in his birthday gift as like a joke gift because I just think it's funny. It's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, The Guide to a Bodacious Life. And just this is what made me love this book. I don't know, but that sold me. I was buying it before I even looked any further. How to speak like Bill and Ted, word and then meaning. Bogus, uncool, bodacious, cool, dude, a fellow person, egregious, extraordinary in a bad way. Excellent means extraordinary. <laughs> Heinous is disgusting, most to the greatest extent. No way expression of amazement, <laughs> outstanding, marked by excellence, totally, wholly and completely. I don't know why, but I think this is so silly and amusing. And honestly, I just love Keanu Reeves. I literally and legitimately love Keanu Reeves. So I don't know. I just, I had to create your own band name, dude. Uh, if you want to be truly awesome, you must make your own bodacious band. But you're saying book. I can't play an instrument. I can't sing also. I do not own a private jet and which I can fly from concert to concert. You'll be glad to know that none of that matters. All that matters is choosing a band name. Choose one word from column A and one word from column B to make your own. Okay, so here is just egregious mongoose <laughs> you just pick pick a word from either column 
and you make band names that are silly. I don't know. It's just a really bright and funny book. Cute. It's a cute little like instead of a birthday card type of a book. And I always like to get books like that. I do think that my husband might find it really amusing. And I'm probably going to write my birthday card wishes right on this page that says this has been a most excellent adventure because um, he'll be coming home before his birthday from the hospital and uh, we've definitely most certainly had a most excellent adventure. I just really think that this is super cute instead of a card and I think he'll find it amusing. So I had to pick that up. Then I did pick these up a while ago when I went shopping with my buddy Pamela. They're rub-on transfers and I love, love, love the B1. I just love it. And you guys have already seen these, but we didn't get them in New York. We found these in, um, I want to say New Jersey, actually. I believe we found them in New Jersey or upstate New York. No, I think it was New Jersey. And I'm sure you guys have seen them already, but just look at how gorgeous that heart one is. These are really pretty cool rub-on transfers. I actually can't wait to try them. And this one is a huge one. I'm going to open it because I think it's just one whole, like, sign rub-on of family rules. So let's take a look at that. Wow, this is so... It is. How cool is that? Family affirmations. Accept differences. Be kind. Count your blessings. Dream. Express thanks. Forgive. Give freely. Harm no one. Imagine more. Jettison anger. Keep confidences. Love truly. Master something. Nurture hope. Open your mind. Pack lightly. Quell rumors. Reciprocate. Seek wisdom. Touch hearts. Understand. Value truth. Win graciously. X's and O's to loved ones daily. Yearn for peace. And zealously support a worthy cause. Oh my God, I love this. If you don't want to put it all on one side, I suppose you could probably rub them off onto stones, like white stones. And each one would have like another, you could actually cut each one out and put them onto like large white stones. That would be really pretty cool too, actually. But definitely if you rub the whole thing off onto some type of a slab of wood, it would be a really cool sign. That is a perfect sentiment. You know what? Maybe we should open the other ones. They're so cool. I don't actually think it matters the color of the paper that they have the rub-on transfer on, but the color of the paper that they have these rub-on transfers on makes them seem like really anthropology-ish. Oh my gosh, look at the cute itty bitty little bee. Isn't it cute? And then you actually get two of those and five of the little bees. Oh no, you get six of the little bees and the like chrysanth and the mums. And I think that those are mums. This one is so, so cool. Isn't that awesome? This is the third one. Look at how cute and intricate wish is and the dragonfly and the butterflies and acorns you know what these are marvelous but this i could see being some sort of amazing valentine's diy that is so so pretty and delicate and and look at the little bird sitting on the doe's head so pretty so yeah these were on my wish list I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them, but they're just so, they're so attractive that they make you want to think of something to do with them. I've actually bought quite a bit of fall decor, but I'm going to haul these because I want to get them to my aunt. My aunt loves Dollar Tree garden stakes, and I think she'll love these. Home sweet home with the gnome. Isn't it so adorable? I love, love that. And those are new this year. And she is an avid gardener, so I know she's going to love that. 
And then this one says, friends gather here. I legitimately love this one. I might keep this one for myself or maybe I'll give them both to my aunt, but I really just love that this says friends and it's got coffee cups and pumpkin spice and it has like a bicycle. They're just so, so cute. It's just such a cute, super cute garden steak. And I think they did a spectacular job with it. Their fall decor is off the hook. I mean, literally off the hook. I showed this cool bath bomb kit in a walkthrough a couple of weeks ago. And I've been ever since on the hunt for more and I can't find any. I'm gonna probably give this as a Christmas gift to the shelters, but I was hoping on finding a lot of these because this is awesome. Things like this are five bucks at five and below and who knows how much they will be at Christmas time. So I would have loved to have found more of these, but I didn't. I think that they might have had these a bunch of years ago and somehow this ended up back in the Dollar Tree. I just don't know. It's by the brand Horizon Group and it was a dollar 25. I don't have Dollar Tree pluses. So yeah, it's really, really a cool item. It says it's for ages six plus and you mix and mold your own bath bomb and each kit has one surprise inside. I'm, I would love to know what the surprise is, but like I said, I'm going to use this towards my donations and if it can make one kid happy, I'm not going to ruin it, but it definitely is cool. If I had found a bunch of those, I would have definitely opened one. Um, I did find a couple more of these plates when I went shopping with Constance and Pamela uh, last week. These have been gone from the stores, but I've been on the hunt for a couple more of these to go with my Bumblebee plate set because I broke some when I bought these and I actually found two and I was so excited because now I have like an eight piece um, black and white Bumblebee themed set and I have four of these again and I love, I love those plates. I just think they mix and match so beautifully and I was devastated when I broke a couple of my plates. You know what I realized? I saw this and I bought it and I thought they were lemons. And the other day I realized these are oranges. It says squeeze the day and it's like a 60 sheet journal by Jot, just plain sheets inside. But those are not lemons, they're oranges, you guys. Still super cute. I actually picked up another one because I gave one to a girlfriend of mine, but these are not lemons, they're oranges. Just different. That's kind of different for the Dollar Tree. I don't know, but I really, really dig it. I love the color combo. I think it's a really fun little notebook to write in. I saw this planner at the Dollar Tree and it's called the Ultimate Planner to get more done, grow your business, and achieve your dreams. Uh, it's by the author Natalie McNeil who wrote The Conquer Kit and um, it says conquer your year but it's a really cool planner. And the Dollar Tree has brought out their calendars and planners, but there's all kinds of advice on how to stay focused, the bigger picture goal. She has like a whole theory. I started looking at it when I was on the line paying for it. And I think it's pretty cool actually. I might even buy the book that it goes with and like on Amazon or something. Hey, it says, I'm so excited you're reading this because that means you're on the brink of an incredible adventure. Inside these gorgeous pages, you'll create your plan, track your progress, hold yourself accountable every step of the way, and make major moves in your business and life. This is an amazing place to be. Conquer, are you starting to feel the tingle of excitement running through your spine? Me too. This is all based on how I plan my own year, meshing creativity with strategy, fun with getting it done, passionate purpose with profit. I believe that the goals kindled deep within our hearts are the biggest kind. It has a lot of spaces to create a vision board within the pages of your planner, which is pretty cool actually. It's just a very cool journal. A lot of cool suggestions on, you know, your creative visualization, um, your sprint reward. How will you reward yourself for achieving these milestones and goals. But you have to um, blog, post, video, or social media content I want to create. 
which is perfect for me because I have so many ideas and I never do them. So then you like list a whole bunch of stuff on how to balance everything on a timeline, like habits, learning to change your habits, um, how you're going to give back. I run a nonprofit, so that's part of my goals. And then like the adventure, relationships, health. It has like a bunch of different suggestions on how to like use your time. And then it's like conscious creation. What are you creating to share your talents, gifts with the world? I don't know, but I feel like this is going to be something that I start using. I'm kind of psyched about it. And um, I don't know. It retailed for $17. I, I definitely think that it has a lot of good suggestions in here when you start to thumb through it. And it definitely might help me get myself more goal oriented. If you guys follow my channel and you watched my walkthrough or my community tab, then you knew I picked these up because I literally had like an epiphany when I saw them that somehow everything was going to work itself out. And it seems to be doing just that. Um, this is my initial for Marina and my husband's for John. And it was just incredible that I wanted these so badly. They came in such a small quantity to the stores and very few stores got them. And when I walked into the store that I found these in, they were the only two and they were just sitting on the shelf just like that. They weren't like this. They weren't like this. They were just sitting there waiting for me to have my epiphany. So of course I bought them and these are made of real wood. They're incredible. They look like they're from michael's or somewhere not the dollar tree i mean look at the thickness of that wood these are gorgeous to put on a shelf just beautiful a bookcase they're for real absolutely marvelous dollar 25 objects i was so excited when i found the m and j together and i bought them representing my husband and mine initials but when i had first found these i found the k which is my mother-in-law's initial and Jay, which is my father-in-law's initial, he is a senior, John Sr. So I actually was really very lucky to find so many of my family's initials. We even found the letter C, which would have been for Christopher, but I was with Constance and I thought it would be awesome for her to have it. And plus, I'm going to put the MJ on the shelf in my bedroom. So there's no room for a C on the shelf. And it's not Christopher's room, it's mine and my husband's. So it worked out perfectly. Everybody that I know that would have wanted those initials gets them. It's pretty awesome, actually. Um, these are a rebuy for me, but I absolutely love this mask. Literally love it. I don't leave it on all night. I am not an eye mask kind of person, but I do have terrible allergies and my eyes really do act up. So I love how this warms up. I just put it on my face for a couple of minutes. And then as soon as I'm sick of having it on my face, I put it on anything that ails me, my ankle, my hip, anywhere. And it's just so, so relaxing. I really, really, really like this. I know that some people scored them by the box, but I wasn't lucky enough to. And I did pick up another one of these Yes Two Tomatoes Clear Skin Acne Fighting Paper Masks because... Honestly, anything that's acne fighting, I give to my son and he uses it. He actually will at some point in his next couple of weeks use this and tell me that was pretty good. Mom, can you get me another one? And I probably won't be able to find those again. I found just that one, but it's actually a really great product. Not a t-shirt of Palooza, but I do have a couple of super cute t-shirts I just have to share. This is a Gildan. And it's one of those poly cotton mixed teas. I seriously love these. And so does my son. It has the cute tipping in the darker color, but it's heathered. Isn't that a lovely t-shirt for $1.25? Pick this up in an extra large. And for $1.25, I think it's a steal. But what I'm going to do with it is I'm going to tuck it away because by the end of summer, everything he owns is going to be stained and dirty. And I mean, it's still going to be hot when he goes back to school. I bought a couple of these t-shirts for him to wear back to school because my son just likes to wear t-shirts all the time. And look at this gorgeous green. It's going to look really, really good with his hair color and his eye color. Also in an extra large, it's just a really nice, um, and soft Gildan t-shirts. These are like 
heathered and weathered and soft and really marvelous for a buck and a quarter. The color is just excellent. It doesn't look like a $1.25 t-shirt at all. Now this one is kind of fun. Actually, I've bought a couple of Anvil t-shirts lately. Um, maybe they're not in this haul, but they're definitely awesome. Look at that sleeve. Do you guys see the sleeve? It is a fun shape t-shirt for ladies. I bought it for myself. It fits me. It's a 2X. I really like it. It's a V-neck. I am so digging it. It's super cute for a buck and a quarter. Definitely. I will. You probably will see me wearing this in a haul. I mean, you can embellish them. You could do whatever you want. It's definitely not like a plain t-shirt. I could say that much. It does have the V-neck and this super 80s cut of sleeve. It's like an 80s style sleeve. Do you guys see that? Plus, the bottom is like a shirt hem. See the curve in the bottom? It's very cool. For $1.25, it does not look like it was $1.25. And that is what I love. I love about the Dollar Tree clothing. I mean, we're getting apparel for a buck and a quarter. I did find a couple of other t-shirts and I don't know why they're not in this bag. I'm getting a little crazy right now that maybe I left them behind, but I couldn't have because one of them was my favorite. It was like a bright peach color, such a gorgeous color. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to haul that one. Then I found this book, The Queer Eye Guide, How to Love Yourself the Fab Five Way. And just look at the colorful, actually super 80s print of this book. I just totally love it. This was $14.99 originally. I can sort of peek it right there. It has all sorts of interesting little tidbits of information. I feel like this is a great gift book or bathroom book. Um, I always envision when I give people little books like this that they keep them in their bathrooms. I don't know why, <laughs> but I do. Um, okay, so an area rug is another way to revamp your room. Uh, if you want to create a hangout spot in your room, try adding a few throw pillows and a rug. A corner will work if space is a challenge. Getting off the floor is the challenge, <laughs> actually, but it's still a cute idea. And then it says bedding and pillows, maybe the most important place in your bedroom. It's where you get all your best sleeping done. Of course, try to make it both comfy and cute. Adding a new bedding set will instantly upgrade your room. If switching out your blankets or pillows will add some good vibes. I like actually read that. I mean, there's tons of other things like lighting, home design, and your safe place. Uh, mental health is not a myth. Just... Uh, find your mantra. It's got like some journal parts. It's really actually a very fun book. Very colorful. It's almost like a journal, but it's got a lot of like almost life hacks. But when I read the thing about redoing your bedding, I was like, you know what? This book is for me because whenever I'm feeling blue, that's what does it. I do have like a bedding addiction. I just love to buy new bedding and I do like to pass along the old ones. Sometimes I pass them on to the dogs or a friend of mine that takes care of lots of animals. I just love, I love this book. I think it's such a fun, cute gift book that I had to pick it up. I totally love it. And then I picked up, this is actually my second copy of this because I don't know, I really like this as a little gift. I really think that this book is a cute gift with accessories. Um, if you're giving someone a basket full of accessories, add this book to it. It says, The Art of Accessorizing. Michaela Erlanger has dressed many a celebrity for award shows, movie premieres, and magazine editorials. But you don't need a, a red carpet budget to benefit from her advice. Now she shares her best tips in this head-to-toe guide to finishing any outfit with flair, chock full of tips on what you really want to know. Do your bag and your shoes need to match? Can you mix metals? What's the most flattering way to tie a scarf? Whether you're dressing for your birthday party, date night, or job interview, or just a trip to the supermarket, this book will help you look and feel confident and chic. You'll learn. So I just love the actual book itself. I think it's so like, 
attractive, which is important because, you know, how could an accessory book be ugly? That would be crazy. And this is what sold me. You can have anything in life if you dress for it. And um, styling is storytelling. As a stylist, when I create a red carpet look, I'm not simply choosing a dress. Rather, I'm creating a moment that becomes a part of history. And I mean, I went to FIT. I love the concept of this. So I just love it. I love fashion and I love fashion oriented things. The transition, how to move from day to night. And um, it shows like the bigger earrings and you see the change in the shoes and the bag. Just, just really cool, really cool stuff in here. It's a great gift. So I've picked up a couple of these because they were originally $14.99 and to get them for $1.25 and be able to add them to a nice basket full of goodies, I think is a really great little bonus for a buck and a quarter. Okay, guys, I'm going to share with you guys my Dollar Tree Guilty Pleasure. This is like the second box of these that have, this one is at least making it into the house. These eight individually wrapped cinnamon crumb cakes are tiny, but they are so delicious. They're definitely tiny, but they are yummy. And you get eight of them. The other little cakes that the Dollar Tree carried and still does, you get five for $1.25. When you get eight for a dollar twenty-five, it's obviously a better deal, but you're not losing any flavor because these are literally yummy. So scoop these up and try them if you if you've ever. So if you like the other little muffins that the Dollar Tree makes, if you like those, you'll love these. Definitely give them a try. I found a few of these Pro Effects Kick Off Your Manny little three pack sets in the Levittown store. Um, they didn't have a ton of them. I hadn't been there in a while and I was really shocked to see any of the pro effects stuff, but, um, I showed them in my walkthrough the other day and let's see what, Ooh, wow. You get a whole bunch of stuff in here for your buck and a quarter. You get a little nail file and it's nice. This cuticle pusher and you get this little top coat strengthener base coat by pro effects, which is a trusted nail uh, company. On the back of it, it says, apply one coat to clean bare nails or apply as a top coat over dry nail enamel. So it really is a base coat or a top coat. It really is a base coat or a top coat. I didn't know you could do both with that. Then we have this Glowing Nails Professional Salon Formula pinker nails and brighter tips. It's small, but it's definitely cool. It's a quarter of an ounce and it says apply one to two coats to bare nails or use over nail color for a pink glow. Oh, so this is just pink top coat. Oh, it's kind of like if you're doing a French manicure, you might want to put that as your top coat. This one is apricot cuticle oil. And this is the one that I really kind of wanted because it does come with the cuticle pusher and it seems like it would be a really good product. I'm gonna take a whiff. It actually does have like a slight fruity smell and I'm sure it's a good cuticle oil. It says to brush small amounts on cuticle and massage in apply twice daily. Well, if you're gonna be applying this 10 to 10, if you're gonna be applying this to 10 fingernails twice daily. This quarter um, ounce is not gonna last you very, very long. Let's not forget you get all of this for a buck and a quarter. And it actually, in the when you look at the package, you don't know that you get the nail file and the cuticle pusher unless you read the little fine print there that says bonus nail file and cuticle pusher. But it's an awesome gift. I hope that we find more of these. If they bring or if I catch another store when they first get these. I've seen them in other people's walkthroughs. They have a lot of them. I would love to get a bunch of these because I have a ton of nail polishes. So every woman could maybe get one of this kit and then pick like one po polish color that she likes and get like a complete manicure set. Maybe I'll have like 
some nail files or some other stuff by then, but that would be great. If I could get a bunch of these, I would be really excited. And now that they've already brought out fall, I'm starting to think Christmas. So yeah, I would like like 50 of these to put some nice gift baskets together for certain women's shelters. Cause I, I think that's a really good gift. I happened to find a wayward pack of these gold toe three pack of socks. And because this is either a French Bulldog or I do believe that it is a Boston Terrier. It looks like a Boston Terrier to me. I had to buy it because I have a crazy Boston Terrier of my own. And you also get a striped pack and a polka dot pack. And I just love, I just love that they have a Boston Terrier on them. And my son will definitely wear them or my husband. They're super cute socks. I picked up another pack of these. They're called Check Please number 235 by uh, Sally Hansen's Salon Effects because I'm just thinking that black, white, silver, and then obviously a couple of check nails would be a super cute manicure. And I just love using these nail stickers for accent nails. So I had to pick that up when I saw them again. I actually have one of those already, but now I could probably put one in a giveaway and keep one for myself. Um, this is called Mom's Five Second Memory Journal, A Memento of Motherhood. And whether you're a mom with only five seconds to spare or a mom with an attention span of five seconds, this journal is for you. Filled with quick and easy prompts, this book is ideal for capturing those priceless moments. Um, and then I can't read the rest of it because the silly sticker is on top of it. It is ideal for capturing those priceless moments. And it does actually say something else, but I can't read it because of the sticker and I don't want to ruin the book. Um, it's really, really slammed on there. And there's like these cute little caricatures of coffee cups and perfume bottles and look at the clock and baked goods. Look, mom's planting, I guess, growing high heels. The cover is really super cute, actually. I just really think it's a cute little book and it's kind of like a mini journal. My mom is long gone and I'm the mother of a high school age child. I don't remember pretty much any of the things in this book, but I do think it would be a great, great gift to give a mom that is expecting a child in the shelters and I do make baskets for expected moms so I always scoop up stuff like that and I have a bunch of other stuff that I recently found for moms that are expecting so um, yeah this one says my kid said what I can't believe and then you put the child's name and the date said we were and where you were my child is only how many years old more notes on the matter but it doesn't have to be a bad thing they might have said something brilliant or like here's one child's name has an amazing imagination here's one crazy story that i don't want to forget that they told the mother obviously so it's a very cute journal of things you can you know you can look through it so you know what the questions are and then jot things down as they happen and you can look back at it uh i wish i had done something more like this when my son was a baby but i didn't do it and i regret it i wish i had done more things like that so i love the idea of gifting that to others and maybe they will i picked up another one of these i absolutely love these and i'll tell you why it says size 4x it's not a 4x but they're very small and tight and they are great. Like we're having a heat wave right now. I'm wearing a dress. When you're wearing a dress in a heat wave and doing a lot of walking and your thighs rub together, terrible, terrible things happen. Although I will say that the anti-chafing cream from the Dollar Tree is actually great for that as well. It works. It actually works remarkably. It's embarrassing, but I'm just being honest guys. But um, these work great because they're actually very, very short on me because they're nowhere near a 4X. It says 4X, I don't know in what world, but they do actually go on my body and they're basically like above, they're not, they're nowhere near below my knee. They're like above my knee, bicycle shorts on me, 
very tight, but they're great under dresses. They're perfect and they're almost like a girdle. So every time I see these, I pick up another one. I think I have like three or four of these by now, but I really love them. They're great for a buck and a quarter. I picked up some more of this gift filler. I love this stuff. Absolutely love it. You guys have seen it. You pull it out of the package, shake it out, and it's this big bunch of pretty swirly paper strips. Really awesome if you're sending friend mail or whatever it is that you want to call it, packages in the mail. Um, it's a great, great birthday bag filler. It's just great. For $1.25, that is such an awesome deal. Things like that in the Hallmark store are like $9 to $12. And then you guys, I had to, had to buy this tissue paper. You guys know I'm not a tissue paper person, but I had to. I have some packages that I've been really meaning to, to send out. So I picked up this eight sheet. I think I picked up two of these and you get eight. I think I picked up two packs of these actually, but the bummer is that you only get like a couple or even maybe one of the pretty tissue paper and then a bunch of the white paper, which is so annoying. Like for $1.25, can you at least just, I'll tell you guys right now. I just checked out of the eight sheets, it looks like you get four rainbow ombre paper and four plain white. See, that is a total bummer. If we're going to pay $1.25, we don't want white tissue paper. We want for eight sheets, we want all color paper, right? I mean, the Dollar Tree can at least deliver that. I think they could do that. Then um, I picked up another pack of the lemon paper. Don't ask me why. <laughs> I have like three packs of this at this point. Um, maybe I'll use this for some of my gifts that I have to send out because I'm not going to be doing any DIYing anytime soon with these lemon tissue paper packs, but I've bought three of them because I just love things that are lemon and at least the other paper is green. So that's fun. It's definitely pretty. I really love all things lemon. I do. I have some more stitch and weft towels, you guys. I told you in my last haul that I keep finding them in every Dollar Tree. And I wasn't lying. I picked up a couple. I told you I don't clear the shelves. But I've found them in multiple, multiple Dollar Trees. And I pick up a couple everywhere I go. Because these are going to be gift baskets for the ladies shelter, the small ladies shelter with kitchens, I'm going to be putting kitchen gift baskets together because I'm not seeing droves of makeup coming into the Dollar Tree. So I'm switching gears and these are good quality, lovely, lovely items that I have seen on, I heard somebody say that they think that this is a product of the Dollar Tree. Not that I know of because this was also previously sold on a website called Sierra. I don't really know what that is, but they are an internet company. It says soft goods and home essentials. I will say this though, even if the Dollar Tree bamboozled us into believing that this was a brand name item, keep doing it Dollar Tree. Make things like this and we'll let you trick us because these are fantastic. The size of them is 28 by 18. Um, one says bless our nest and the other says home sweet home. This is a fabulous, item if you're a real estate agent to pick up and put in a gift basket if you just sold it. I would stock up on these if I was a real estate agent for sure. That is a nice housewarming gift and like I said I picked up two of them. I just absolutely love love these towels. They're cotton. They're just luxury at $1.25. Then I found this book and it's the Nimble Cook new strategies for great meals that make the most of your ingredients. And on the back, it says, be the kind of cook you want to be. It has a bunch of really crazy high quality reviews from different magazines on the back. And, um, this book retailed for $30 right there. It says 30 bucks. And let's look at the inside. And right off the bat, on the inside, the inside covers are really pretty, which I love. I love that in a book. Isn't that so cute? Isn't that so cool? It's really informative, actually. It has all kinds of crazy information. Like, it has the chicken, and it just tells you, like, every part of the chicken, the whole, the wing, the breast, like, things you could do with them, stuffed and seared chicken thighs, um, just 
tons of information right in this front flap, basically. And it says, it it's showing you all of those details because she wants you to make the most from your ingredients. So during these crazy times where things are getting more and more expensive, it seems like a really cool cookbook that gives you more bang for your buck. And like here, like cabbage, it'll tell you what to do with cabbage and you can make like two different recipes with it. And then it tells you like how to freeze it and serve it. So if you buy a cabbage and you know, like in my household, I might make cabbage, but everybody in my house doesn't like cabbage. My son won't eat it. So it, he might eat a tiny bit of it, but it might go to waste. But if I make it two different ways, then I can freeze one and it'll be two times a side dish as opposed to making one whole thing of cabbage and then wasting half of it because it's not going to get eaten in time. You guys get what I'm saying? Like it gives you like um, multiple recipes for each ingredient so you can like stretch your product. I think that's really cool actually. Um, cucumbers and it has like a bunch of different cucumber things that you could do and have like different kind of things going on just really cool like pickling one and then set, making a salad out of the other it's really really a good cookbook I think it's just a brilliant idea I've never actually had a cookbook like that and it doesn't have tons and tons of pictures in it but the ones that it has are drawings which is even also very nice it's just a really brilliant book and I'm probably going to give this to my aunt Marina also because she loves loves cookbooks and I love eating my Aunt Marina's cooking. And guys, I'm finally getting around to swatching this Pop Art BYS face palette. This palette is such a beautiful, fun summer palette. Do you guys see this? It's so nice. I can't wait to show you guys what's going on in here. Now that I took it out of its outer plastic, because BYS always comes like super hermetically, practically sealed, let me read you guys what it says. Look at how vibrant and gorgeous this palette is. It says that this face palette pop art is an all-in-one palette that includes a mix of 12 textured matte and shimmer powders, four glitter creams, three bold glosses, two shimmery highlight powders, and two blush powders. And you guys they're not kidding. Um, the lipsticks are these awesome colors. Those are super fun cream lipsticks, like lip glossy type of, do you guys see that? Do you guys see how fun those summery lip creams are? That magenta is a crazy pop of color. I kind of love that. And then I'm going to have to say that I have a funny feeling this is going to become one of my go-to face palettes because the highlight is fabulous. I love the blush colors. This is a really cool blush color, but that highlight, I'm loving it. And then there's this pinkish, I'll use a different finger. I'll use my pinky to show you. Look at that pinkish highlight that would be really good for some inner corner of course eyeshadow and look at all of these eyeshadows you guys this burgundy cream color is gorgeous burgundy creamy glitter this glitter burgundy eyeshadow is beautiful i love i love glitter eyeshadows and and then there's this like orange glitter shadow what? That will be so nice in the fall. I mean, orange glitter shadow. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, and there's a beautiful metallic burgundy shadow that I know. I know me and I know that I am going to love that shadow. That is a so, that is totally a very me shadow color. It's really beautiful. I love it. And, and then there's like a creamy pink. They have like a creamy metallic -y pink shadow. Also gor gorgeous. 
And then there's a matte orange, which would mix really well with that metallic burgundy. Yeah, this palette is marvelous, marvelous, super fun for summer into fall makeup. Um, yeah, I love it. And there's a lot of purples. I don't do a lot of purples, but I know other people do. Like my friend Pamela loves purple. Oh my gosh, I love the yellow. You guys know that I love yellow eyeshadow. It never looks good on me. It's always tragic, but I still love it. I love it. Such, I want to swatch them all, but there's just too many. Look at this pink one on the bottom. Let's take a look at that one too. Super pretty. Isn't that a gorgeous $1.25 item? I wish I could find 50 of these. This would be a great, great gift, especially for dark skin tone women. Many of the shelters that I deal with, the population is actually darker skinned. So this would be an awesome palette to donate. I wish I could find hundreds of those, but unfortunately I didn't. I found those in Staten Island and I just found a handful. I didn't find, um, they actually had a lot, but I didn't buy all of them and I only have a handful, but they didn't have like hundreds. They had like maybe 20. So I didn't buy them all and I haven't seen them since. So I wish I did and I hope I do. I did pick up another one of this clay medium BB cream by Iman for my friend Kathy because this is a great product and she really likes it and it's like perfect for her complexion. So I got that for her. It's really, really good. And then this is boring, but you know what? Sometimes boring is definitely good to find at the Dollar Tree because when you don't find things like this, you get angry. It is a bonus pack. You get three extra bags. So you get 13 gallon storage bags by Glad for a buck and a quarter. And I think that that's a fair deal. Um, I do think if you buy them in bulk at Walmart, you get a better deal, but sometimes it's just convenient to pick them up at the Dollar Tree. And then last book in this haul is a, a book I'm going to be donating. And I did buy three copies of it because they had three copies of it. And I thought that it was definitely worthy of donating. Um, I have a lot of kids books actually that I'm donating in this drop off survivors of the Holocaust, true stories of six extraordinary children. And it's literally a story of surviving the Holocaust. It may be a subject matter that it's done like in comic book form. Um, but it's definitely, it's not lighthearted. I, I, I read this in the Dollar Tree and I was literally hysterical crying, but, and it's told from the perspective of the children, like slowly, slowly my life changed. I think that it's important to educate our children on these tragedies in hopes that nothing like this will ever happen again. And then at the end we meet the survivors, which is why I'm going to cry again. We meet these beautiful survivors of the Holocaust that were young children. And, uh, I'm really happy that they got to tell their story and that somebody cared enough to put it in this book because it is an incredible story. So I did get three copies of that and I have to put the book down before I start hysterical crying because I just, oh my God. But I do think, I do think it's a really great buy for $1.25. I mean, I have, of course, other types of kids books that I picked up. You guys have seen me haul tons of kids books and showed you tons of them. I read you tons of stories in the Isle of the Dollar Tree. So I do have like a pretty ginormous book drop to do. It's my second one actually, but these might be put towards back to school. I don't know what they're going to do with them, but they're definitely awesome books and I can't wait to drop them off. And, um, um, oh, you know what I want to mention to you it has nothing to do with Dollar Tree. Um, but I just wanted to mention to you guys that this is the yummiest snack ever. Um, it's like five bucks. So it's not cheap. It's not from the Dollar Tree. It's non GMO. It's called cocoa melon skin on dried fruit and they have a variety of flavors but this is my new super guilty pleasure not just the muffins um it has nothing added vegan and gluten free and it's skin on dried fruit crispy coconut and sweet watermelon I'm, i don't know if <laughs> for shame but i may not have even left i think there's like one piece of watermelon left to show you guys how cool it is i think there's a couple pieces of watermelon left so i could show you guys 
how cool it is. Look at that. Even the seeds are in it. It's like dehydrated watermelon and coconut. Isn't that so cool with the skin on? So yummy. This is like my new favorite snack. I just love when things are kitschy and this is what got me hooked on them. It says peel power. Mother nature knows best. That's why she added a peel to fruit. Nutritious and delicious. It's the zest part. <laughs> I had to buy it. And once I bought that, I was sold on this. It's super yummy. Um, so that's my new guilty pleasure. Um, that's it. That's all there is to haul in this haul, you guys. I have tons of other stuff, but they're in the trunk and we're out of time. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you did, please do give my video a thumbs up and share my video with your friends, neighbors, loved ones, anyone that will hear. Try to get them to subscribe to my channel, you guys. I am desperately trying to get to 10,000 before I turn the big 5050 in September, September 20th to be exact, because if you're gonna turn 50 and you have 9,000 blah, blah, blah subscribers, that's great. But if you turn 50 and you have 10,000 subscribers, that's even better. So we can celebrate both of those things at the same time if you guys help me get there. So share my videos out there and help me get there, guys. I really appreciate you guys so much. And we will definitely have an enormous 10,000 subscriber giveaway to go along with celebrating my birthday and my milestone, which I'm hoping to reach by my birthday fingers crossed. Anyhow, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed the video and as always stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.